Hello friends, this video on Rational Numbers Part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. On the properties of rational numbers which we have studied so far, let us try to solve a few questions. Using appropriate properties, find out the solution for minus 2 by 3 multiplied by 3 by 5. plus 5 by 2 minus 3 by 5 multiplied by 1 by 6. So how can we make use of the property? So let us first find that if we have something in common between two terms. So when you compare this term with this term, we see 3 by 5 is common. So we will just change the order a bit. So minus 2 by 3 into 3 by 5 and this term that is we will put it as plus and then we will keep it as 3 by 5 into minus 1 by 6. So this will make it all the more easier. So this was minus, right? So if you consider it as a plus, so basically the minus sign goes either to the minus 3 or to the minus 6. So I have transferred it to minus 6 to keep it more simple. Plus 5 by 2, so this term. So this is what we get. Now, this was done by commutative property because in commutative property, we know that a plus b is always equal to b plus a for rational numbers. So, by commutative property, we did this. So, now we will take help of the distributive property. Now, from distributive property, we know that a into b plus a into c is equal to a into b plus c. So, we will make use of this property where 3 by 5 is our a. So this will become 3 by 5 into b plus c that is minus 2 by 3 minus 1 by 6 plus 5 by 2. So this will be equal to 3 by 5 into minus 5 by 6 plus 5 by 2. So here 5 and 5 will cancel out 3 2 is 6. So this is minus 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2. So this is equal to 4 by 2, 2 to the 4, so this will be 2. So this would be our answer. So in most of the cases, wherever you need to make use of the properties to solve an expression, first of all try to see in which of the terms you have something in common. Because the moment you are able to find out something in common, you will be very easily able to apply the distributive property. And distributive property will make your calculations a lot easier. So let's look at question number two. Here again, using the properties, we will have to solve this. So let's try to solve it. So it is 2 by 5 into minus 3 by 7 minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2 plus 1 by 14 into 2 by 5. So here again, you have three terms. This is one term, this is another term and this is the third term. Where do you see something in common? So 2 by 5 is a common term between these, the first term and the last term. So let's change the order. So by commutative property, we can say that 2 by 5 multiplied by minus 3 by 7 plus 1 by 14 into 2 by 5 minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2. Now even when we change the order, the values will remain the same that is assured by the commutative property of addition. So now in these two terms, we will try to apply the distributive property. So in these two terms, how do we apply distributive property? The common term is 2 by 5 which is our a. So a into b plus c. So b is minus 3 by 7 and c is 1 by 14. So this minus 1 by 6 into 3 by 2. So here 3 to the 6. So here we get 2 by 5 into, this would be minus 6 plus 1 divided by 14 minus 1 by 4. So this would be equal to 2 by 5 into minus 5 by 14. So 5 and 5 will cancel out 2 7 is 14. This minus 1 by 4. So this would be equal to minus 1 by 7 minus 1 by 4. So when you take their LCM, you get 
minus 4 minus 7 divided by 28 and this value comes out to be minus 11 by 28. So this is the solution. So here we made use of the distributive property. Here we made use of the commutative property. So by making use of these properties, we can simplify the solutions. Let's Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.